Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Prehistoric Kingdom episode. Today, we're gonna build the Nasuto Ceratops exhibit, plus work on some entrances. Now, I wanted to start a new a new entrance because I kind of ran out of room on the other side and I didn't really know where to go from there. So I figured just to start fresh and then eventually I'll connect the two. So yeah, I'm gonna get a different shape and everything. Of course, you have to start with the bathrooms because where else are you gonna urinate and defecate? Not on the pads, please don't do that. This is not San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna notice here that you need to build a straight path first before you can curve it and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, so then this is where I'm gonna put the Nasutoceratops exhibit. And nothing really dramatic happens. <laughs> Nothing crazy, and it's not going to take that long, because there's, there's a learning curve to Prehistoric Kingdom, but it's not a very long learning curve. Like, maybe it took me about an hour to learn how to use the modular system. You saw that in the last episode where I really struggled with that, but now that I did it once and I got that practice in, it just, it's very easy. Like, it's no problem at all. So, if you can put up with that first hour and get yourself through and learn the mechanics and how it works, then it should be okay. But if you can't, if you're having trouble figuring it out, or if you're quick to give up on things, then maybe um, look at a tutorial first on YouTube. But anyways, let me know if you like the time-lapse format, or if you want to see me go through the whole thing, because this was one of those days where I just kind of wanted to chill on my computer and play video games. So that's what I did, and I'm gonna put some cool jazz music in the background so you get that chill feeling. All right, see you when the time lapse is over.
and we are back with Prehistoric Kingdom. Oh, look how good this Igmatosaurus looks. This game is amazing. Okay, moving on. Back to the new Nasutoceratops exhibit. Okay, you'll notice I added a few extra details. I added some wind turbines. We'll get to this later, much later. Not in this episode, in a later episode. I just wanted to have that planned out. Just marking the spot, like my dog. Okay, oh yes, the pseudoceratops. Let's just go and plop him down. I keep forgetting, there's a tab here. I don't need to do that. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Is that a glitch? Okay, I think that's a glitch. Um, did I place them? I did not place them. Okay. New glitch found. If you leave the game while you have animals in the genetics lab, then they will die. They all got terminated. Okay, so I had the male of this. The amber. I actually wanted two males and then females of the mint. Let's go with three females. Man, these skins are so good though. I love each of these. The wild berry, really cool. It's really cool. It does remind me of the Jurassic World Evolution one, but still awesome. Amber is great. And then mint is great. Uh, let's look at the males. The males is colorful. Yeah, that's amazing. I never knew I would care this much about Nasutoceratops. Alright. Let's plop these bad boys down. Get out of here. Uh, where was that again? Oh yes, over here. So, also, this entrance, heavily inspired by Jurassic Park, I just wanted... Oh, oh, stay still. I just wanted, like, the two big white rocky pillars and then the sign in the middle and then I added something extra kind of like the T-Rex tunnel in Jurassic Park that we don't get to see much of in the movie but a nice transition into the park I keep saying park this is a zoo doesn't really make a difference okay hold on I don't remember this being a thing that was definitely not a thing Can I, can I replace that? How do I do the fence replacement? Because all this... Uh, whatever, I'll just delete it. All of that should be the wood. Game. Nope. And then this should... Okay, what's happening? Game. There we go. Easy fix. Now let's plop them down and see how they look. <laughs> Terminate. Uh, select all. Release. Okay, this is a good size. Sometimes I don't know what the scaling should be between exhibit to animal because I don't have the animals you know, on hand to look at while doing this. But this is a good size for them. For five of them, yeah. <gasps> He's coming to the window. Oh, that's so cool. Look how cool it is. The Nasuto Seven Tops. Alright. Come on. Let me get a better look at you. Come on. Oh, he's just plopping around. And this is a he. Dang. I like the detail, too. Like, they got the feet pretty right. Yeah, the first three toes have claws on them, and they're facing more towards each other than exactly downwards. 
Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I can just do this. Hold on. <laughs> All right, track animal. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh that, that that that's a, that could be a thumbnail and a half. No, no, I lost it. I lost it. Oof. The camera's very sensitive once you get towards the ground. Alright, that might have worked. Not sure. I'll look for something. And let's look at the females. Something I say quite often. Oh, <laughs> They're like big cows. Just think of it as kind of a big cow. Do they socially interact? Oh yes, I also made them the shelter. I don't think I did that in the footage. But I remembered again that they have to have shelter. So I made this little rock thing for them. Oh. Okay, so I think they're on perpetual wandering mode for the alpha. I haven't seen them do anything else so far. Yeah, but I like it. It's a nice habitat. It's jungly. But I didn't want it to be like overgrown and full of trees and everything. I want it to be lower vegetation so we can see them clearly. Oh, and yes, there is one mistake that I made. Well, okay, two. Let me get rid of this. Density. Go get rid of these. And then, you know what's happening. You know what's happening. Yes, yes. Okay. 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 This is happening. Oh, man. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh man. This is amazing. This is amazing. Yes. Yes. Reeds. Reeds for days. And we need lily pads. Okay. Let's get them out. Are they anywhere? Gardening. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it gardening. Oh, whoops. It's hard to tell what's on the surface and what's just below. Okay, that's perfectly on the surface. All right. How's that? Maybe a few more lily pads over here. Okay, now it's finished. Wait, now it's our. Ah, oh, man, this game. Okay, little the pseudoceratops. I don't know what your problem is. So I'm gonna assume that swimming hasn't been added yet. Although she was able to just walk through the water okay okay we have 18 dinosaurs that's nice to know making so much money this is an amazing investment guys you just put your money in dinosaurs screw GameStop screw gold and silver just put it in dinosaurs we went from 4 million to 71 million was it 8 million or 4 million we started with? But whatever it was, we are rolling in the dough. Okay. Oh, also, I wanted to have a park section over here. You know, where visitors can come, have lunch, have a picnic. There were no picnic tables. They should get on that. So, yeah, just a nice grassy field. But again, nothing really to bring it together with no picnic tables 
not a lot of restaurants. We do have the T-Rex Cafe. We actually have more clothing stores here than anything else. Um, yeah, but just a nice park. An actual park within our zoo. Because I think a lot of zoos have that. Like a picnic area where you can eat your sandwiches that you brought or eat the food we serve that's super overly priced. Alright, and then from here, we'll connect to here, have a big shabam there, and then connect to here. Okay. So I think that's this episode done. Please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. I'll see you next time.